Hey there everyone, we are moving on from histograms into bar plots. Now bar plots, we're going to need to start off with some data. I've got a laughs matrix defined here for the number of times I've laughed each day of the week. Simple way to start off a bar plot is going to use the bar command and then the array that you want to plot. We're going to get a bar that has the height of these values in the matrix. So the first value had 12, the second value had 20, third value was eight, and so forth. Now, I want these to be labeled not one, two, three, four, five, and so forth, but to be actual days of the week. To do this, you have to use the set GCA command and provide the input X tick label, and then another array here. These are gonna be weekdays for me, and I need to define weekdays out here as a cell array. This is important. This is one of the few applications that I see in plotting that uses cell arrays. It's simply a different way to store data. Okay, it's a different data type that's not super common. Don't worry about it too much. All you need to know is that cell arrays take these curly braces. Inside, I'm gonna give the days of the week. Here we go. We've got all the days of the week defined. Those are inputted here. Let's go ahead and run this. And there we see Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and so forth, and our other plot features that we can add. And of course, we can give a Y label, we can give a title, add a grid, make this a bit more robust. And there we have a better graph depicting what this shows. This is one option for your bar plots. The other option is going to be a stacked bar plot. Okay, stacked bar plots will include multiple categories of data on one bar. For this, we need to redefine the data that we're inputting. Each row of this data is going to be stacked on top of each other to make one single bar like we have for Monday. So now we actually need a seven by three data or seven by however many. So I'm gonna do some enters here. Give me a sec as I reformat this. We're going to go ahead and use the bar plot for laughs again. We're still gonna change this to weekdays. Let's take a look and see what this views as. All right, this is side by side. Not the stack we want yet. This is another version of bar plots, by the way, as you guys can probably tell, just simply providing the information side by side. If you want this to be stacked, you need to go into your bar command and add this second argument stacked. And now instead of being side by side, we have them one on top of the other. The last thing to do is actually label these guys. Well, what does the blue and the orange and the yellow mean? To do that, we need to add a legend, and then the blue is going to be the first column, the orange, I believe, is the second column, and the red, sorry, the orange, well, it's kind of an orangish red as that second layer, and then the top layer, the yellowish orange, is going to be the third column. And we'll just provide these as such. This will be when I uh, laugh with others. This is when I laugh alone. This is when others laugh at me. Fantastic. There we see laugh with others, laughing alone, and others, well, others at me. Great. Great graph to have here. Very useful as you go into your week, but demonstrates the point. We now have our x axes labeled properly. We have our stacked bar plot and we have the legends defining those bar plots. Those are your three basic types. Hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned because we're doing pie plots next.